Hello students, Marsh here. So today we're going to look at the product rule of exponents, our very first rule of exponents. What you're going to want to have on you today, your notes, a writing utensil, then also a calculator as well. So very first thing we need to talk about is the vocabulary of, well, powers exactly. So this full thing here, this entire thing, two to the third, this is what's known as a power, okay? So the full thing is a power. The big number, big daddy right here, number two, he is known as the base. And the little guy here, the little exponent, that little three, he's known as the exponent, okay? So the exponent is the little number, the base is the big guy, and the total, everything is named a power. So just some vocabulary to make sure that you're aware of what I'm saying when I'm actually using these words, okay? So what have we done already? So when we use those labels and we matched up things, remember it said 2 to the 3rd x to the 5th times x to the 3rd y to the 4th, and I said, well, basically all this little exponent tells you is you need to write that that many times. So that would be 2 times 2 times 2, and then x times x times x times x times x, and then I would have 3x's and 4y's, right? So then we counted, so we got 2 times 2 times 2, and we went, oh, that's 8, right? And then we went, how many x's do I have all? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 x's in all, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 y's. That's all fine and dandy when it's nice and little numbers. But what if I gave you this problem? 2 to the 53rd, x to the 35th, x to the 98th, y to the 24th. That would take me forever to write all that many x's and y's and twos, right? So how could we, what is the rule for not having to write it out? How can we do it with math? So here is the rule for multiplying like bases. So if you have like bases, basically the big numbers, if the big numbers are the same, you can just add the exponents together and just keep the base the same. So it's actually a pretty simple problem. So let me show you a couple of examples. So here I have 12 to the 4th times 12 to the 3rd. Notice I'm multiplying, that's what the little dot means, and I have the same base. They're both 12s, big 12s. So what I can do is just keep my base the same and add my exponents. So I'll go 4 plus 3 for my little exponent. Well, 4 plus 3 is 7. So that is 12 to the 7th power. Let's try this one. So my bases, look, big guys, the same, negative 5 and negative 5. So I'm going to keep my negative 5 there. I'm just using parentheses to show that it is negative 5, so the negative kind of stays with the 5. Um, and then I'm going to add my exponents. So I got negative 2 plus 7. Well, negative 2 plus 7, that is 5, right? So this would be negative 5 to the 5th power. Same basis, 8. Add the numbers. 3 plus 6, so it would be 8 to the ninth. So now let's try with not numbers. Let's try bases that are variables. So I got z to the ninth times z to the fourth. So if you remember, we would have written out 9 z's and 4 z's. Well, that together makes 13 z's, right? So I would have z to the thirteenth, which is 9 plus 4, right? 9 plus 4 gives me 13. Now, what if we start to add a little bit of numbers with this? That's okay. All you need to do is multiply the actual numbers like you normally would have. So this would be 4 times 9. So I'll get actually a 36 sitting out here. Now I can add my z's together. So I have 5 z's, negative 12 z's, 5 plus a negative 12. Uh, so I got 36z to the negative 7, right? 5 minus 12, that's negative 7. Uh, this one, multiply all of our numbers first. So 2 times 9, that's 18. And 18 times 3 is 54. 
Um, I'm going to write both my a's now. Let's do my a's. So I got a to the first and a to the second. Well, that's a plus. This is technically there's a little one right here. So I got a to the first, a to the second. Add my exponents to find out. So I got one plus two, three a's total, right? Now notice, guys, there's nothing with this b. b is all alone. Don't forget about the little loner that he doesn't have anybody to combine with, but he is still part of the answer. So do not forget, make sure that you check through the entire problem to make sure you have combined it everybody and you didn't forget anybody that was not able to be combined with anybody. Now, here's a big warning guys. Here comes some fractions. Don't worry, breathe, it's okay. We're gonna do some fractions together. So what if I have exponents that are fractions? It's not too bad actually. What I'm going to first do is I want to put everybody that has an A on this side and everybody that has a B on that side. So I got 2A to the 2 thirds power times A to the 1 third power, right? So I've taken care of both of those guys. Let's put the B's over here. Oops. 5b to the 1 half. Let's put a big dot there. That could be my big multiplication symbol. Alright. Now, notice I get to multiply my numbers. 2 times, there's technically a 1 there, so 2 times 1, get 2. Now, just because they're fractions does not mean they get preference treatment. Since they are like bases, both of them have an A, big A, I just add my exponents. So this would be A to the 2 thirds plus 1 third. Okay? So that would be 2 a to the 2 thirds plus a third. That'd be 3 over 3. Right? But 3 over 3 is the same as a to the first. So I'll just write that as 2a to the first. Now let's figure out our b's. Uh, multiply my numbers. 3 times 5, get 15. Then I gotta add my exponents, so 1 fourth plus 1 half. Now guys, remember you cannot add fractions when they don't have a common denominator. So let's add, let's get a common denominator for my one fourth and one half. Um, let's use a four, right? Common denominator of four for the two of them. This is just me figuring out this answer right here. Uh, this is one fourth, uh, two times two would give me four, so let's multiply the top by two. So now I can add my numerators keep the denominator, so 1 plus 2, that's 3 fourths. So I would have 15b to the 3 fourths power. Now, don't forget, these two are still multiplied by each other. I just kind of broke them apart so I could see the individual pieces. So let's multiply our numbers. 2 times 15, that's 30. And then we just get to put the A and the B right beside each other for my final answer. Because these guys are not like bases, so you cannot add their exponents. The bases have to be the same to add them together. And that's the end of this video. See you later, Sabres.